Sister Sarah, you have been asked to make complete the life of your future husband. By your side stands Timothy, who has asked you to share life with him. In your love and submission lies his inspiration and help. Your unselfish loyalty and devotion will give him encouragement and confidence and will inspire within him the qualities that are most noble, manly, and godlike. See that, as a suitable helper for him, you fill the place that only a Christian wife can fill in the home, the church, and the world. Will you therefore, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take Timothy, the brother by your side, to be your wedded husband, will you love and cherish him in health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, share with him the joys and sorrows of life, exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward him, and live with him in peace as a faithful Christian wife, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. Can you answer, I will? I will. Brother Timothy, God through this special service is calling you to be the head of a new home. By your side stands Sarah, whom you have asked to be your wedded wife. Next to her love to God, she is giving you her love. In accepting your heart and hand, she is paying you the greatest compliment it is possible for her to give. She is looking to you for an example of true Christian manhood. In your character and love lies her happiness and fulfillment. See that nothing ever mars this confidence in you. Accept gladly this God-given responsibility. Will you, therefore, in the presence of God and these witnesses, take Sarah, the sister by your side, to be your wedded wife? Will you love and cherish her, provide and care for her in health and sickness, in prosperity and adversity, exercise patience, kindness, and forbearance toward her, and live with her in peace as a faithful Christian husband, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her as long as you both shall live? Can you answer? I will. I will with all my heart. Excited to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Timothy Bowman.
most outspoken one is that he's never going to get married. Uh, but it was it started quite young. Uh, he was he was he told his mother that uh, you know he never wants to get married. And she, well, you, you can just always stay at home. And then after a little while, he said, "Well, I, I'd like to go to town sometimes." You know. <laughs> Yeah.